Hey everybody, Greg the Bruno here, and in this video I want to go over briefly the YouTube video editor. Now, uh, YouTube has some neat features that allow you to go ahead and, and correct uh, some of your videos or edit some of your videos. You can do lots of things like add transitions and, and put two videos together. Uh, so before they, YouTube had this, you, you were really at the mercy of either having your own software or however your, your video came out is pretty much how it was uploaded to YouTube. So uh, as I'm about to show you, YouTube added some really cool stuff that allow you to uh, enhance your the video that, that you go ahead and put on YouTube. So uh, let's go ahead and jump right in and I'll show you some of the, some of the features uh, that are here. So go ahead into your into your dashboard area of your YouTube channel and you want to go ahead and into your video manager. Now when you go into your video manager this is where all the videos that you've uploaded to YouTube sit. Now as you can see I have three videos here and each video has an edit tab. So go ahead and click on that edit tab Come on YouTube. Come on YouTube. I guess that ain't listening to me. All right, here we go. Okay, now once you're in, you'll see that we have a couple different tabs here. We have the info and settings, which is where we're at now. This is where you can, again, change the title, description and tags if you want you can do um, you can change the date uh, put the location where the video was created you can do all that uh, basic editing of of how the video sits and the title and all that uh, here under enhancements is where we get in to the actual video itself where we get into changing the actual look and feel of the of the of the video now when you go in enhancements you can see here that you have the original and on the right hand side you have the uh, quick view uh, let me go ahead and pause that now what I like about this is if you click the I'm feeling uh, lucky tab you can see that the one click it fixes it for your lighting and the proper color so you can see that if I go ahead and give that a click that, there we go. pause that again the, the thing is is that every time you do uh, an enhancement here it refreshes and the video will automatically play so uh, just be prepared to <laughs> keep hitting the pause button so you can see if I hit that again okay you can see now how when you click the I'm feeling lucky button it gives you a really nice correction I mean here you can see that that my kitchen cabinets are are look more of the color that they are my green shirt looks more green um, just the lighting overall everything looks a lot better so here again one button it really makes your video look that much more clear that much more professional okay so uh, another thing I like, you can go ahead and uh, here stabilize. This is if you're you're using a webcam that's either shaky or someone is holding the camera for you. Again, the, just clicking that will take uh, a lot of that away. If you want to rotate your video, um, I have no idea. I have no idea why you would want to do that, but if that's what you want to do, there's the feature for it okay uh, the trim tab this is really nice because you can adjust uh, the start and end times of your video so if maybe uh, at the end maybe you hit you were doing a screencast and you hit stop or you thought you hit stop and you realize that at the end of the video it kind of went on and you know you, they can hear you in the background eating your potato chips uh, you can go ahead and, and, and cut that out uh, simply by by just uh, sliding on the bar and you can go ahead and just stop it where you want to stop it and that'll that's where the end of the video will be okay um, now we get into some of the different effects uh, that you can do 
with your videos. Um, I really, really like this. Again, be ready to pause the video. Uh, again, just some really, really cool features that you can do uh, to your video. Again, if you want to make it black and white, adds a nice, rich look. Uh, you don't have to worry about, obviously, the coloring so much. But you can, again, black and white, where it was once hard to do, uh, really simple to do in, in the new YouTube editor. Um, they have, uh, you know, all different settings here. I'm not going to show you each one, but you can see that you have a great bunch of settings. Uh, here's another nice one that I'll show you, the, uh, the sepia, which kind of really gives your video like a, like a, that, that old kind of antique uh, look. Um, so again, some different things here. There's, there's some options here that, you know, neon pink, neon green. Again, I can't see why you would want to use it, but if you want to use it, there it is. And audio. Okay. What this does is it will give you a list of uh, recommended tracks based on the, the, the length of your video uh, how and and based on what the video is about uh, they, they use the, the, the description information that you put in there some of the information that you put from tags you can go ahead and and you can pick a, a tune so let's just go ahead and and uh, I don't know we'll pick one here um, that one sounds good okay and what it will do is you can hear the music Now, you can hear the music in the background, which is really nice if you have a video that you're you're taking outside of not, you know, someone talking, just you're getting, and you don't want all that outside noise. Now, what's really nice about that is what you can do is here you have a, a microphone where, or a, not a microphone, you have a, a slider where you can control how much music is played through so here I lowered it a little bit and what will happen is in this the music will play and you will also be able to hear what I'm saying in the video so the further to the right you drag this you can see it's only music this favors the music um, favors the original audio so it, if you want music uh, lightly in the background while you're speaking here is where is where you can go ahead and do that so uh, again just some of the really uh, quick features that if you're if you don't want to really spend a lot of time editing you're just looking for that you know push button edit feature uh, this is a great way to go ahead and do it um, uh, some of the other buttons that are here that you can do um, I already went ahead and did this so I'm gonna go ahead and click save okay it really you know it, it served this purpose this video uh, now one important thing to to remember and one important thing to take note of is that when you go ahead if let's say you have a video that's been on your YouTube channel for a good bit of time and let's say that it has a, a lot of comments it has a, a lot of thumbs up or a lot of likes that people like it and you know it, it's just been you know doing well for you in terms of you know attracting people to your channel or SEO or maybe it ranks well in Google whatever if at some point you go ahead and edit that video in this editor uh, it's very important to know that when you when you go ahead and edit that video it now is a new video so all those comments and all that feedback that that was you know helping you out is all going to be gone so it, it's real important that when you edit your videos try and get in the habit of doing it right away when there's no there's nothing on the videos especially if this is your only video editing software that you're going to be using so when my recommendation is if you're going to use this go ahead and and up upload your video and right away before it starts uh, generating some type of buzz on YouTube or or starts pulling in a lot of comments and a lot of likes go ahead and edit that the way you want it so you have the, the video quality that you want and you have a clean slate so 
you know you don't have to go back and and lose all that that valuable information so again that that covers it uh for the the basic editor there is a, a little more in-depth uh video editing that you can do within youtube and in my next video series i'm going to go ahead and cover that so uh, i hope this was helpful go ahead and, and grab some of your videos go ahead and make one and play around with the the, the different features and and see what what type of uh, videos you can get out there again my name is greg and i'll see you inside the next video tip